Uh, all right. So, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a bit of a silly one. I don't actually have to do any reading, so I'm good. <laughs> Red Riding Hood. <laughs> oh, dude. By uh, Brave Rock Games. Yeah, <laughs> I think we know how. Vi well, I guess not everybody knows how the visual novel works. Uh. <sighs> In a great wide forest, full of beautiful trees, and green glades, and thorny thickets, there lived, a long time ago, a woodcutter and his wife, who had only one child, a little girl. She was so pretty, and so good, that the sun seemed to shine more brightly when its light fell upon her rosy little face. Uh and the birds would seem to sing more sweetly when she was passing by. Is this a TTS? Her real name was Maisie, oh. but the neighbors roundabout all called her Little Red Riding Hood because of her scarlet riding hood and cloak that her kind old grandmother had made for her and which she nearly always wore. Yeah, I think we know the story. She was a happy, merry little child with a smile and a gentle word for everybody. And so you may easily believe that everybody loved her and was glad to catch a glimpse of her golden curls and her scarlet cloak what as the she heck? tripped along, singing under the green boughs. Uh, why is she humming? Now this, what, she just <laughs> before I forget, was at the time when all the birds and beasts or very nearly all, could speak just as well as you or I. And nobody was surprised to hear them talk. <laughs> nobody was surprised to hear them one talk. One would be nowadays. <laughs> just trying to make sure that we believe the story. Yeah, everybody can talk. Don't question it. Well, as I was saying, Little Red Riding Hood lived with her parents in a little white cottage with a green door and a thatched roof and red and white roses climbing all over the walls, and even putting their pretty heads in the lattice windows to peep at like the child who was so like them. Question, so question the logic being with science. Let me tell you something. Okay, why does the outside look green? Morning, early in May, but the inside the just red looks. Hood had just finished putting away the breakfast it looks cups so run down. when the mother came bustling in from the dairy. And, oh God! Oh. Here's it to do. I don't know. Farmer Hodge has this one minute. Why is every character staring into well. my soul? And I can't leave the cheese making me. this morning for love or money. Yeah, you shouldn't be playing this game. You should be playing better games. Do you go, my dear, and find out how she is, and stay? Butter. Take her this little eggs. pot of sweet, fresh butter. What? And these two new laid eggs. And these nice tasty pasties. Maybe they'll tempt her to eat a bit. What dessert is Take that? Basket and don't I'm be not too a fan long of away, honey. But what dessert is that? Looks like a biscuit with Looks like a biscuit with whipped cream in the middle. Strawberry tarts? So little red riding hood pulled her cloak over her curls and set off down the sunny green slope, with her basket in her hand, at a brisk pace. But as she got deeper into the forest, she walked more slowly. Everything was so beautiful. Uh, okay, why the we great have trees video? waved their huge arms over her. The birds were calling to one another from the thorns, all white with blossom. Mm -hmm. Oh god, the helming again! As she went. She could not have told why. But I think it was because the beautiful world made her feel glad. The path wound along through the trees, 
and as it grew wider after turning a quarter, Red Riding Hood saw that she was likely to have company on her walk. Okay. For where two cross paths divided, there sat a big gray wolf, licking his long paws and looking Wait, sharply about hold him. Hold on. Hold on. That looks familiar. Good morning, Red Riding Hood. Why is Lavender from Dragon Ball Super here? <laughs> or no, why is a why is a gray version of Lavender from Dragon Ball Super here? <laughs> what the heck? You can't tell me <laughs> that's not that, that guy is not related to him. <laughs> Are we in Universe Nine? Good morning, Mr. Wolf. And of course the wolf gets the saxophone. And where may you be going? Oh, Granny is Why are you well. telling him all this? And Mother cannot leave the cheese making no, this no, morning. No, seriously. And so I'm taking her some little dainties in my basket. Just tell him where I you work to at, too. She is, and tell Mother when I get back. If I wasn't afraid of being doxxed, I would actually make a visual novel using the pictures I can just take from my phone. <laughs> Considering that this is a an actual freaking photo. Where does your granny live, Some little lady? in the back. Through the cops and down Through the, the hall and over the bridge. And three meadows after the mill. That's a bird. Yeah, it's a word. Now, a small group of trees. And why are you telling... Does she indeed? Why, then, I do believe she's a very dear old friend of mine, whom I have not seen for years and years. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do, you and I. I will go by this way, and you shall take that. And whoever gets there first... Shall be the winner of the game. So there's already some red, there's already some red flags here, Red Riding Hood. Why did you tell? I mean, I know you're supposed to be friendly to everybody, buddy, but why would you tell somebody the exact like tell somebody complete exact information? You know? Like, oh, I'm just going to my grandma's house. Oh, she lives over. She lives over there. By one, two, three, find me street. She's currently sick right now, and she has like a million bucks. And she never locks her door. Hmm. Alright. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is what makes it a like a true visual novel now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna save. Oh, let's save. Let's uh <laughs> follow the wolf's advice. <laughs> Maisie, follow the wolf's advice. At this, the wolf began to run as fast as he could, taking the nearest way, and Little Red Riding Hood went by the farthest. She stopped often to chase a butterfly or pluck a flower, and so she was a good while on the way. We just changed narrators. What? <laughs> the wolf was soon at the old woman's house and knocked at the door. Tap, tap. Who's there? Your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood, replied the wolf, changing his voice. I have brought you a cake and a pot of butter from Mother. Just, yeah, just tell the wolf everything he needs to know. The good grandmother, who was ill in bed, called out, Pull the string and the latch will go up. 
The wolf pulled the string, and the latch went up. What is with this house? Opened, and he jumped in, and fell upon the old woman, and ate her up in less than no time. Wait, for what? he had not tasted food for three days. <laughs> also, random belch. <laughs> what? And, wait, wait, wait. The door opened, and he jumped in, and fell upon the old What? <laughs> he fell upon her. Oh, I, I, I just can't. <laughs> but what is with this house? This doesn't look like a house anybody would live in. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Never. Like, okay, I should take that. I should dial that back a bit. A grandmother should not live in this house, and that's not the same door. Also, what the heck? The wolf could have came in through, under the door, just like, just put, like, just kick it open. Look at the, how flimsy this door is. He could have just kicked it open, like, psh, you know. <laughs> what the? He then shut the door and got into the grandmother's bed. By and by, Little Red Riding Hood came and knocked at the door. Tap, tap. Because Red Riding Hood decided to take way too long to take the scenic route. Who is there? Little Red Riding Hood heard the big voice of the wolf, and at first she was afraid. Then she thought her grandmother must have a bad cold. So she answered, There ain't no bad cold, dear. Little Red Riding Hood, I have brought you a cake and a pot of butter from Mother. What would, why would, yeah, why would we have a pot of butter? I, I mean... Okay, who eats, like, who would eat a pot of butter? I don't know, like, I, I don't know, like, is there, like, I'm guessing because it's, like, homemade, like, it's going to taste better and probably be healthy, but I don't think a pot of butter would do it, would be healthy. The Whatever. wolf softened his voice as much as he could and called out, Pull the string and the latch will go up. Little Red Riding Hood pulled the string and the latch went up and the door opened. The wolf was hiding under the bedclothes and called out in a muffled voice, Put the cake and the pot of butter on the shelf and come to bed. Wait. <laughs> huh? Little Red Riding Hood made ready for bed. Then she looked with wonder at her grandmother, who had changed so much, and she said, He's like, Grandmother, oh God, I can't what this great is arms you have. <laughs> Better to hug you, my dear. Oh, God. <laughs> Grandmother, what great ears you have. He just he just climbed out of the bed just to be like, yo. <laughs> the better to hear you, my dear. Grandmother, what great eyes you have. The better to see you, my dear. What great teeth how you have. have you, how long have you visited your grandmother? The better to eat you. What great teeth you have! Eat you. Dun, dun, dun. The better to eat you. And at this, the wicked wolf sprang up. Oh God! At this, <laughs> the wicked wolf sprang up and fell upon poor little Red Riding oh, God. Hood and ate her all up. <laughs> and he belched again. <laughs> what the heck? I don't even need to save. <laughs> the end. <laughs> okay. O okay. I, I have to say this right now. So. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh no. Everything turned red to indicate bad. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> too hard. Oh, um, so. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, so the story was told differently when I was a kid. I was like seven years old or something like that. When I remember being at daycare or whatever. And the person at daycare would tell the story and we often do Little Red Riding Hood as like a little play or whatever. And basically it was Red Riding Hood goes to grandmother's house, blah, 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 blah. Get there. Oh, oh, what great big eyes, ears and teeth you have. And then it was obviously like, the difference was like the wolf did eat the grandmother and then eats Red Riding Hood. And then the hunter comes in and basically is like, okay, chop, kills the wolf, chops open the stomach. Well, didn't kill the wolf because this is for kids. Didn't kill the wolf, chops open the stomach. De- <laughs> the wolf. Everyone lives happily ever after. So that's generally why I'm laughing because it plays out this way, but the hunter is supposed to come. <laughs> Oh, such differences in story. But now it's 2024, and, <laughs> well... <laughs> so I can see a couple of friends just, like, if, as soon as this video pops up. And assuming I don't get smacked with, um... I don't get smacked with that whole... What do you call it? whatever well you know the whole coppa rule or whatever because that's what's worrying me right now <laughs> i <laughs> i can just imagine the comments they're gonna say Oh god, I, I'm gonna have to title this something so I don't attract the wrong audience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Return to the only choice we had! To where two cross paths divided, there sat a big gray wolf, licking his long paws and looking sharply about him. Why are there licking sounds?! Good morning, Red Riding Hood. Can I skip? Good morning, where? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, oh, I, oh, my grandma Why, lives here. Then? I do believe she's a very dear old. These days, we don't even think about, we don't even think about this kind of relationship. Like, we kind of changed the relationship between Red Riding Hood and the wolf at this point. It's 2024. I mean, they're pra they're either friends or bitter enemies <laughs> that try to kill each other. And you... <laughs> Haven't you seen Darkstalkers? Haven't you seen Hoodwinked? Do not follow the wolf's advice. <laughs> I was about to click it again. <laughs> I mean, Grand Blue Fantasy has practically has a character that is literally Red Riding Hood and a big bad wolf. Oh, God. Okay. Maisie decided to play the game, but go her usual route. So the wolf okay. trotted off one way, and Red Riding Hood went the other. And I am sorry to say that she lingered and loitered more than she ought to have done on the road. So it didn't even freaking matter! It, didn't even, it honestly doesn't matter! She still took her time! Well, what with one and thing and another, gift the sun was right up in the very midmost grass. middle of the sky when she crossed the last meadow from the mill and Thank came you. in sight of her grandmother's cottage and the big lilac bushes that grew by the garden gate. I'm not sure that's lilac, but all right, roll with it. Oh dear, how I must oh, have lingered. Go. When she saw how high the sun had climbed since she set out on her journey. 
Then pattering up the garden path, she tapped at the cottage door. Who's there? He's already there. We just don't get the we just don't get the gruesome description of the wolf eating the grandmother. It's only I, Granny dear, your little red riding hood, with some goodies for you in my basket. Then pull the bobbin, and the hats will go up. What a dreadful cold poor Granny must have, to be sure, to make her so hoarse. Then she pulled the bobbin, and the latch went up, and Red Riding Hood pushed open the door and stepped inside the cottage. This does not look like a freaking cottage to me. It seemed very dark in there, after the bright sunlight outside. This does not look like a Riding cottage to me. see was that the window curtains and the bed curtains were still drawn. This is, this is greatly skewing my view of what a cottage looks like. Hold up. Also, out this wi- I don't know if that's supposed to be curtains in this window here. But that just, like, those, um, those don't look like curtains, and that definitely doesn't look like what's outside. This looks like a completely different location. It's like, Grandma, you live here? No wonder you're sick! There's asbestos in the walls! <laughs> this home's from the 1700s! Wait, when did we start using asbestos? Oh god, I'm looking at this one. And her grandmother seemed to be lying in bed with the bedclothes pulled almost over her head and her great white frilled nightcap nearly hiding her face. This is a house from the 1920s! Now you and I have guessed by this time, although poor Red Riding Hood <laughs> never even thought of such a thing, that it was not her granny at all, but the wicked wolf who would hurry to the cottage and put on Granny's nightcap and popped into her bed to pretend that he was Granny herself. And where was Granny all this time, you will say? Well, we shall see presently. <laughs> wow, you're making it sound like he did eat her. Usually it's she, ran, she, got, the, she got the hell out of the house. Sit down beside me, dearie. And let us have a little chat. Then the wolf stretched out his Oh arm god, that, that okay, that's just creepy. Basket. This is creepy. He's like, yes, look at me. <laughs> that that that's still that sends chills down my spine, just looking at that face. Oh, what great arms you have, Granny. All the better to hug you with. Look, I mean, I mean that's good, right? <laughs> and then he gets what back in bed. What great ears you have, Granny? How do you know the, the, How do you know about the ears? I mean, bed cap. All the better to hear you with, my little dear. And your eyes, Granny. What great yellow eyes you have! All the better to see you with, my pet. And oh. Oh, Granny, Where's what sharp teeth you have! I'm not playing trouble music now. All the matter to eat you with! <laughs> Growled the wolf, oh God! Up suddenly at Red Riding Hood. <gasps> but just at that very what moment, the Mario the Brothers open, and two tall woodcutters rushed in with their heavy axes and killed the wicked wolf in far less time than it takes me to tell you about it. <laughs> Oh my god! He's dead! <laughs> that poor wolf! <laughs> so what happened to Grandmother? <laughs> but where is Granny? When she had thanked the brave woodcutters. Oh, where can my poor Granny be? Can the cruel wolf have eaten her up? 
and she began to cry and sob bitterly. <laughs> when who should walk in but Granny herself, as large as life? And also, you're not holding back on describing her either. Jeez! Her large as life, hardy as ever. I don't see a basket, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For it was another old dame in the village who was not very I well. I shouldn't. And Granny had I really to should. It's just and give her some of her famous She's just tea. staring into my soul. Please. Please stop looking at me. Why is she judging me? So everything turned out right in the end. And all lived happily ever after. You but got I the good you ending. That little Red Riding Hood never made friends with the wolf again. Well, you can't make friends with the wolf again. He's dead. Unless somebody wished them back with the Dragon Balls or something. <laughs> the Mario Brothers killed the wolf. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I could go back and get the other ending. <laughs> so, so let me guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, oh, and the other ending, the Big Bang Wolf ends. The Hunters never came. <laughs> what the heck? Oh god. Oh my god. I shouldn't laugh. I mean, I, like, I didn't know what I was walking into when I clicked, when I got this. This was, this was given to me. This was given to me by someone. You like visual novels? You should read this. There is no reading. <laughs> There's no need for me to read because it's already narrated. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! It, like, it's hilarious in certain ways, probably because the way kids. Oh god! I need to get that off the screen now. She's staring at me. Oh god, she is staring at me. Oh, oh god, can can we just can we just say like, what options do we have in general? Windowed full screen ratio stretch up confirmation <sighs> message. I should have put it on fastest. Instant auto message. I could have just, I could have had it just going auto. Wait for voice. Stop on click. I could have had this going auto. I could have just sat back instead of clicking. Wait for voice. You, I mean, the voice, I don't think waits anyway, it just goes. Um, audio. Can I get this? Can I get her? Get her off the screen. She is creeping me out, though. She is creeping me out. Yes. I'd rather look at this. I'd rather just look at this. I mean, this just feels better to look at. And is this. Are the sprites moving? Very slightly, but the sprites are moving. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. I don't know. The faces are the faces kind of creep me out in the way. <laughs> and the hunters, the hunters are essentially the Mario Brothers. <laughs> oh. 
Oh god. Ooh. Ooh. Like I said before, I, I said this before, oh. our version of Red Riding Hood goes, the wolf eats both grandmother and Red Riding Hood, and then the hunter comes in, kills the wolf, obviously, because you got to cut him open, cuts open the stomach and frees grandma and Red Riding Hood. <laughs> that's, that's the story I remember. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I gotta go edit a video. <laughs> Alright, okay. <sighs> I'll see you guys.